these are the strings we're gonna put on this bad boy. This is the first of five floor casters that we made from the leftover church floor project. So this spring right here started out as a three inch big box spring and I stretched it out to about three and a half inches. So it's barely, it's not really stretched even that much, but offers a real nice low sound. So I tried to strategically locate that piezo directly under so I need to get some hot glue and put some hot glue on the top and then smash it down so I get as much of that plate so I'm going to get half on the plate here or the resonator and then half underneath the uh, thing here and those screw holes are just barely just missing and those screw holes are what's going to hold in the, the hinge so the hinge will hold the top to the neck as i'm going to do another screw here as well so those two screws are going to hold the top to the to the fretboard and then on the back side here you see i have a little hole i have a little uh, little key here it's going to go inside the hole and that's what's going to hold it on the bottom side right there that's it. <laughs> That's a simple setup, but uh, I'm curious to see how this thing sounds. For the sound check, we are using the Roland Micro Cube. Blasphemy! Just listen to the resonance, my gosh. You can really hear that spring. But when you put the top on it, so we do have the Shane Spiel strings on here. And the reason why I had to move this guy down was because I needed as much distance between here and the saddle which is just a battery and the reason being is because i had to over i had to rise up over that arrowhead right there and of course the nut is a battery so i'm tuning g d g and we are unplugged So what I did to get those strings to stay is I just hit them with a hammer, dude. Bam, 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 bam. And if you maybe see it in the light, you can see like a little little dent, little dents there. So as per usual, we are plugged into the Roland Micro Cube. No effects. So only effects are going to be the uh, spring inside of here. And of course the resonator plate. Wait. 
deep sound, right? This song is called Stretch Those Strings Blues. things about this guitar is because this action is so high here again it had to be high to overcome this little arrowhead here but because the action is so high from my vantage point here as I'm looking down I can see the underside of these strings here and I can also see the underside of the slide again it's, it's like I can see where the string is touching the slide underneath here which allows me to get it pretty accurate right You guys remember that hymn, I'll Fly Away? Well, unfortunately, the way I do it makes it sound like a sad song. As markings go, I have really light pencil marks at the third, fifth, seventh, tenth, and twelfth fret. I try to get them up here as well, but um, they're very faint marks, you can barely see them. So, a lot of this is just guesswork, especially all the chords and notes down here. So, what I'll do is I'll go to what is the third fret right here, and then I'm just going to start moving it down in like increments. And I'm going to use my ear. with a, with a copper resonator and an internal reverb spring. I'm going to turn it up just for kicks here. All right, I'm going to turn up the gain.
really hear a difference when you decide to mute back here or not. Check it out. This is this is muted. This is not. the slide courtesy of jeff patterson more to come stay tuned for that so that's it for this video i did want to point out one last little minor little detail and uh notice that all the little screws around the ends here i got it at the um 12 o'clock of course the uh nine and six o'clock nine and three but then i also got it halfway in between those so I wanted to make sure that that top was nice and secured, which it is, man. This is this sucker's on there, dude. She good. And also decided for some sound holes here. Um, so I have the resonator and some acoustic properties from this here. So sound is coming out of here. Um, loud box, my gosh. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. We'll see you in the comment section. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.